Hey again, everyone. Welcome to part two of our baseball challenge tutorial. Um, so here we are going to um, create the baseball diamond. And in creating the baseball diamond, we want to ha be able to see the mud layer, which would be the yellow layer. And we also want to be able to see astroturf um, on the inner part of the diamond right here. So it's basically a two-step process. Uh, both processes use the paths tool. Um, so we're going to use this tool to outline the outer part of our field and cut out the inner part of our field. Um, these uh, guides are bugging me, so let's get rid of those. Um, I'm going to go and turn our guides off. At least show the guides, turn them off. Uh, zoom in just a little bit here. And we're going to outline the yellow portion right here that you see here with the Paths tool. So I'm going to go to the Paths tool and just start clicking. Now the key here is I want to make a complete circuit. Um, I'm panning by holding my mouse ball right now to pull here. So I'm getting to my um, next to the last node and I want to close the circuit by holding the control key. If you're on a Mac, a command key. Um, and notice how the mouse pointer changes to a union symbol. Um, and I'm going to click and close that circuit. So now I can uh, do a real quick check, make sure that I'm on my edges. Now notice the path looks like it went away, but really it didn't. It's still embedded up here in our paths dialog box. We just need to turn on the visibility. Uh, that corner looks pretty good. Pan up to the top. That corner is off just a hair so we're gonna click back on our paths tool, pull that one over a little bit. And there we have that one looks pretty good. And our last step is to uh, pull this segment, this line segment. So by clicking on the red line segment, when we pull, we get handles. Um, and we can take those handles or we can continue pulling on the line segment. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. And um, make that line segment take the shape of home plate mud. And that's pretty good. That's good enough for, for our purposes. So now that we have the mud, um, we can make a selection from the path and go out and notice it, it when we made the selection it turned on uh, the marching ant so we know we have a selection taking the shape of our mud. I'm going to find a muddy color. put it in my color palette um, and then I want to make a layer for my mud so I'm gonna right click and add a new layer call that my mud layer say OK and I'm going to uh, fill in my muddy color right there so that's that's the step of creating mud. Now, how can we get it to where we can see the astroturf underneath the mud? We need to path out a second path um, in the in the shape of the grass that you see here. So I'm going to turn the selection off, go back to my paths tool, and I'm just going to repeat the process. Let's make a new path right here. Okay, turn this path eye off. All right, so we're making a, a new path. I'm 
Again, we're going to close the circuit by holding Control or Command on a Mac. Um, and I'm going to adjust each of these handles so that it takes the shape of the inner part of the mud. Okay, I'm going to pause here just a minute and come back with them done. Okay, so now we have the inner part of our diamond where the grass lies pathed out with the paths tool. Um, it's taking a nice arced shape around the base basis. And we're going to create our selection from the path. Okay, um, and we're going to go back to the area where the mud lives, the layer where the mud lives, and we're going to hit delete uh, or cut, edit cut, oops, not copy, cut, um, and then turn the AstroTurf on. And now we can see the AstroTurf um, under the mud, and we will do one more step with this uh, and add just a few more details in the next tutorial. Till next time.